Hi, this is lesson number 57 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful two color floral pattern in Photoshop using image with no background. Here in my screen, I have a bigger document 2000 by 2000 pixel that is filled with pattern and other canvas is having sunflower with a transparent background. If I will open the layer palette, this is the flower thumb and there is no background. For your practice purpose, you can choose any flower similar to this. Using selection tool, you can remove the background and use for pattern. Also, you can Google sunflower PNG images and you can download them for your practice. Just type in Google sunflower PNG images. So, this is without background and if I will right click here and check the size, the canvas size is 322 by 325 with the resolution 72. It is a small image. And if I will click here, image size, it is bigger 2000 by 2000 pixels with 72 resolution. So, this document I used to fill the pattern. I am going to close this. If we want, we can directly create pattern with this canvas. If we will click on edit, define pattern, it is possible. But here we will learn more effective way to define the pattern. So, the first canvas I am going to use for pattern. Click on file, new, 500 by 500 pixel, that is a good size. Create. So, here I have another document. We will set our pattern element using filter. So, the first thing we need to bring this flower here, click on move tool, simply click on drag, reduce the size a little bit, hit enter. To center this flower, click on select menu, all, okay, align horizontal center and vertical, select, deselect. Now, all what we have to do is to place this flower in the corners using offset filter. So, the flower is selected. If I will use offset filter direct, it will be relocated to the corner and in the center will be empty. So, the trick is we need to duplicate this flower. Click and drag here. So, we have another copy. We will leave layer 1 as it is. Layer 1 copy is selected. Go to filter, other, and here we have filter offset. Click on offset. The functionality of this filter, it will move vertically and horizontally your object in your canvas precisely with the given values. Make sure wrap around is check. And here you can see horizontal and vertical is zero. To locate our object or element perfectly, we need to check the canvas size. At the bottom here, you can see this canvas size is 500 pixel by 500 pixel and DPI shows 72. So, 500 pixel horizontally and vertically. So, half of this is 250. So, here we need to move flower to the edge 250 pixels. That is half of the canvas vertically and horizontally. So, in both field horizontal and vertical, we will put 250 horizontally moved 250 and then vertically also 250. So, here you can see clearly at this part of the flower from the bottom right, it is located here, top left is here and so on. Just click OK. This will be our pattern. We will define it as a pattern and when Photoshop will fill this pattern, it will form the flower using these four parts. So, basically you can see now in the center we have flower and same flower is filled in the corner. So, here if I want I can change the color using hue and saturation. You can press control U from the keyboard or you can click on image adjustment hue saturation and here simply we are going to change the color warm orange click OK. So, here we have yellow and orange flower. Since we need without background, so we can make it transparent, we can turn off the background while defining pattern. 
we do not need to even select since it is entire canvas. So, we can go to the edit define pattern and this is my pattern name default name pattern 4. If I want I can rename, but I will leave it as it is click OK. Now, the pattern has been defined. In order to fill this pattern we need to open another canvas. So, click on file new we can take bigger size 2000 pixel by 2000 create and here is our new canvas. Directly if we want to fill we can just create the layer new layer this way go to edit fill and the last pattern is here this is the pattern we created recently click it and then click OK the pattern has been filled. But there is another way that is more effective control Z undo we do not need to create layer we can fill this pattern by using adjustment layer background is selected I can click here create new fill or adjustment layer and choose pattern this way if you will fill the pattern you have flexibility to resize rotate anytime you want to adjust you can do that. So, click on pattern and here we have our pattern click on this drop down and choose the last pattern. You can rotate any angle we want we can give we will just make it 0 and here is the scale. If we want we can increase we can reduce this way we can do click OK and the pattern has been filled double click anytime you want you can change the properties. So, here we have our pattern with the white background if we want to fill background with new adjustment layer it is possible we can click on the background and click on create new fill or adjustment layer once again and this time we are going to take gradient color click gradient and here we have different presets I will go for orange click on this drop down and choose your liking color I will select the first one and here is the angle you can choose the angle also if you want you can change the gradient mode radial from center reflected or diamond I will leave a linear minus 90 degree and then click OK. So, this how we created a pattern using image we define the pattern and we fill it by using adjustment layer. This is really flexible if you want to change the pattern you can double click here double click on the layer thumb here and any other pattern gradient you want you can fill as a background. This type of floral background you can use in your design using same procedure different type of elements you can use to define the pattern without using offset filter it is quite hard to align and place the object or element this way precisely. So, that is all for now I hope you enjoy this lesson if you like this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification. So, you will be notified every time I upload new video thank you.